Welcome to Beckridge Holstein's Farms. I'm Ashley Beckett. And I'm Glenn Beckett. And I'm Lily Beckett. Today we're going to show you a bit about our farm. Welcome and come on in. Isn't it crazy how this farm started with my grandfather walking the cows from Scarborough to Markham? And look what we have now. We milk 50 cows in a tie stall with automatic takeoffs and we no longer milk by hand. And because we prioritize breeding and genetics, we have cows that win a lot of awards. Living on a farm seems like a lot of fun, but there's a lot of challenges that go along with it. And you learn about them after a lifetime of farming. Uh, growing up, I grew up in a very old farmhouse. We didn't really have TV at the time, so there was no cartoons for me growing up and a lot of early mornings. I did not get any days off. I work 365 days a year. Um, even Christmas, I have to wait until after we're done milking to open up any presents. It's not easy work. All right, some of the pests we deal with on the farm are flies and mice. Um, they're definitely more prominent in the summer months as the flies enjoy the heat and the manure that the cows have. Flies, we like to treat, we like to deal with them by using sticky tape, which they get stuck to and it just reduces the amount of flies we have around. And for mice, we like to use cats that keep control of the mice. And hopefully someday that this cat will be able to help us. At the end of the day, I would not change a single thing that I've done. And I'm gonna continue doing what I've been doing and making sure that I can make the improvements where I can. We are currently in the calf barn and this little one here is Harrison. She's four weeks old. Um, we take really good care of our calves. We need to make sure that they don't get sick, which is one of the biggest challenges that we have with them. They can get a little bit of pneumonia with the constant temperature changes, um, the hot and then the cold. And then we also need to make sure that we don't <coughs> overfeed them because if we overfeed them, they'll get diarrhea and you don't want that. We need to make sure that their pens stay clean. We don't want them lying in their own poop or anything like that. And they are the future of our barn. They are the future of what's gonna happen and the future of Canada, if you look at it in that sense. We keep them in these smaller pens for about a month and then they move into a bigger one where they can run around a little bit to try and get their lungs to work. So Harrison over here is really, really hungry. So I'm gonna get her fed and Scott will be showing you around the equipment section. In this shed, we have all our nice tractors and we have straw for bedding and hay for feeding. This is the straw and each bale weighs about 800 pounds. We usually get about 450 bales to get us through the year. The most important um, aspect of baling the straw is getting it in before it gets rained on and keeping it dry because it's very absorbent and if you don't, it'll spoil and then it's no good. It won't pull apart and the cows do not like to lay on that stuff. So it's keeping it dry and in a safe place in the shed and uh, the cows enjoy it. Thanks for listening today. I got some work to do, so I'll get back at it. Bye. Thank you for joining us today on a tour of our farm. We hope you enjoyed it. Check out more videos on this channel. See ya. See us. And now we prioritize breeding for excellent cattle to produce. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, like... And for mice, and for mice, we like to use skins that control, that keep control of the the mice collection. Harrison, and she's about three months old. Three months. She's not. She's a month old. Four weeks old. We're gonna have to restart. You're still wrapping this up. I'll catch you later.